got uh, 24 7 security in front of the house here um, they're going to be staying here until the house has its new owners so a little bit about the house before we go in it's about 4600 square feet it's huge four bedrooms all with ensuite bathrooms and we've got two powder rooms you ready to go in let's go check it out So coming up through the front, stack stone everywhere. We're gonna walk directly into courtyard with iron keypad gate. So nice little courtyard area here. Look at all the stack stone all the way up the house. This thing is nuts. Coming on in to the main entrance here gigantic glass door to take us into the entry. Oh, this house is just perfection. So there's so much to see. How about we start in the kitchen? Kitchen is directly to the right. Now, this house was built for entertaining you have a professional chef's kitchen. Let's start off here with the gigantic professional chef made in France range. This thing is insane, matching vent hood. All the stack cabinets here in the kitchen, very modern, very clean with the, with the white and gray decor here. Look at this, I wasn't even sure what this is but it's like a, take it apart, it's a steamer. How crazy is that? I've never even seen a steamer before. So, uh, farm sink here, gigantic island. I mean, just look at this. Let's see, this is your view from the living room. Look at the Las Vegas Strip. Isn't that awesome? Ugh, all right. So they haven't put the cover on the uh, refrigerator yet, but this is a Sub-Zero fridge. I think they're putting cabinets over it so that it blends in, but uh, gigantic refrigerator. One of my favorite fin uh, finishing touches on the house is this, right off the island. Look at this. This is your watering and food station for your pups. Look at that. You've got your water filler right here. You just put it in front of the bowl, fill up the dog bowl. And I mean, how cool is that? I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. Nice open living area. Stacked stone fireplace. You'd hang your TV above the mantel. Look how beautiful this is. Cabinetry everywhere throughout the house for two and a half million you got to have the best of everything tons of stacking doors the stacking doors are literally around every single corner and guys stacking doors like this can be anywhere from seven to about fifteen thousand dollars a piece let's take a quick uh, little tour of the backyard here there we go this one will open Ah, your backyard oasis. All you need is a swimming pool. You've got a nice big backyard back here. So the views from the side of the house, here's around back. Look at these freaking views. This is insane. One thing about me, I'm all about views. I mean, this is like a Bob Ross painting back here. Look at that backdrop. You're going to hear me talk about views a million times in my videos and on my Instagram. It's just, I'm obsessed with them. You cannot beat this. Let's zoom in on this. Ugh. How about that? Come out here, have your coffee. And guys, we are in a multi-million dollar neighborhood. All these homes are seven figures. back 
tons of balconies when we get upstairs we'll go out on all those so just look at all these stacking doors i see one two three four five six seven sets of stacking doors from where i'm standing right now all right let's go back in one more view we're going to poke our head into the pantry show you guys the pantry here let's see lots of cabinets in here as well stacked to the ceiling expect no less some countertops tons of shelves and this thing goes back like 10 feet with more cabinetry and countertops in the back nice little spot to hang some pot and pans or if you want to be weird a coat rack perhaps the microwave I don't think I showed you guys this so this is wolf motorized boo yeah that's really cool okay so this is tile flooring it's uh, probably about eight inches wide and about three or four feet long probably four feet long but it is tile it's not wood all right let's see we're back kind of by the front door here so let's go down this hall where we're going to find the garage. So coming in the garage, we've got double tankless hot water heaters, which is necessary when you have six bathrooms. We've got a more of a standard two car garage here. Your third bay is off to the side. There's our door here. Uh, and you got a place for like a uh, soft water system. This would be great for storage, but this is actually plenty of room for like a home gym or if you really did want to park a third car in here, there's definitely room. Okay, back into the house. Closet here, that's gonna be your AV closet there for all the electronics. This house is pre-wired for everything imaginable nice little built-in here this is one of my top three favorite features of the house I've never seen anything like this either this is equally as impressive as the dog bowl so this is all hand poured cement look at this what so imaginative I love it and then just a toilet and then uh, I imagine someone's gonna put some kind of a custom mirror up here it's just not in place yet coming into what is the office so here's a, a set of double French doors that lead out kind of to the front door there's the front door right there so you've got all kinds of doors taking you to everywhere but a small little office nook the ceilings are probably upwards of 10 feet probably 10 or 11 foot ceilings in the house um, you'll see a lot of barn doors as we finish our tour those were a big uh, big item they put in here okay let's head over here again to give you guys reference of where we're at there's the front door we're coming in to the left we're gonna walk down this hall there's our backyard to the left over here, we've got our second powder room, some nice, beautiful little honeycomb tile. Again, a custom mirror would be put up here, and you've got some pre-wires for sconces. And our fancy schmancy toilet. Look at the detail, look at the toilet paper holder. Okay. As I mentioned, an entertainer's paradise. So downstairs wet bar. And by the way, all the drawers and cabinets, everything in here is soft close. So here we're gonna have an ice maker. We've got our sink. Maybe put the liquor up there. Check this thing out. Look at this wine station. I don't even know how this works but you I mean look at it just dispenses wine and then obviously our mini fridge okay so 
keep in mind the placement of this. This is here because of this room. This is your theater room, or what will eventually become a theater room. You know, most people in a house of this caliber would have automated shades that would kind of come down over the doors. So I'm sure that will be coming in the future. Everything's pre-wired here for surround sound, and then you've got uh, for your projector or your big screen over here, and you've got some sconce pre-wires if you wanted to do some lighting down here. Okay. We've got one uh, downstairs bedroom that we're gonna go into. Now this would be kind of close to like a, a gin smart suite or a mother-in-law suite, if you will. Pitch ceilings here. We've got more double French doors that lead to the outside. Good sized bedroom. Lots of windows, tons of natural light in here. It would actually kind of be a shame to like put blinds on these windows. Your TV mount. So the reason I say this is more of a, a gin smart suite, so you obviously have a sink here. You could probably put your microwave there. And what do you guys think this is? Oh, well, it is a freezer and a refrigerator. How about that? And these are Sub-Zero as well, top-end appliances. Coming on around the corner, nice walk-in closet with custom cabinetry, or custom shelving rather, and look at this tile, it's beautiful. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, nice tile shower, again with the fancy toilet. So this, let's see if it's, if it's hooked up. So these are battery operated toilets and when you want to flush them you wave your hand in front of the sensor. There's no button. It's supposed to be more sanitary so you're not like touching the toilet handle and stuff. Very cool. Okay, that's downstairs of this bad boy. Oh, Nest thermostats everywhere. There's like five or six of them. Oh, one more room. So this is a super laundry room. The reason it's a super laundry room, you've got hookups for two washers and two dryers. Look at all the countertop space in here. Tons of shelves. Look at this. You've got a sink and cabinetry. Oh, tile all the way to the ceiling. Fantastic room. All right. Let's go upstairs. Just one set of steps all the way up. So this a window was originally this window originally was not going to be here, but when they saw the placement of the house and the view, look at this. Here's our Bob Ross painting again. This is insane. This doesn't even look real. So needless to say, this window is here now. Okay, let's start in the guest wing. This is kind of a little loft area. It could be Office 2.0 if you wanted to. Just some extra area at the top of the steps. Some cabinetry. Coming up the top of the steps into the hallway is guest bedroom number one. The interesting thing about this house is that there are three rooms upstairs and each one has its own private balcony with stacking doors, of course. Nice size room. All right, so you've got your full ensuite bathroom, quartz countertops, white cabinets, custom tile in the shower, of course. Right. On to bedroom number two at the end of the hall. Hey, another uh, smart thermostat. I told you they're everywhere. Now this one has a covered, a slightly larger balcony. Lots of lighting. You've got a ceiling fan pre-wire out there. There's my Jeep. Look at this. Oh. 
This room's a little bigger than the other one. All right, fantastic. Hit our bathroom really quick. So, that is the guest wing of the upstairs. Now let's hit the master. Okay, coming into the door of the master. Again, so we've got barn doors going into the master bath and barn doors going into the master closet. Let's start with the closet. Everything's backlit. We've got LED lighting everywhere. Our shoe rack. Look at this thing. Let me back up a bit. Oh man. Look at all this space. You've got on the island, there are drawers on all four sides. I thought this was a cool touch here. So you've got a laundry hamper for your dirty laundry built right in there. That's fantastic. Space everywhere, more shoe racks, more drawers. Okay, now let's go into the master bathroom. Look at this. All the tile. I'm in love, I'm in love. So you guys, uh, this is all marble, and this marble is very rare, and it was special ordered. This marble in this bathroom was $25,000. Insane, huh? But what else would you expect in this price point? Our water closet here with the toilet. Okay. Now let's go into the master bedroom. It's not too over the top in size. It is a good size, but interestingly enough, it's not square. It has like, it's four sided, but everything's oblong. It's shaped very uh, uniquely. So you've got tons of natural light coming in here. This is definitely the best view of the entire house. And it's in the master, which you would expect. Okay, now let's go out on the balcony. Nice stacking door that'll take you right through the wall there. All right, onto the balcony. So look at this. This is a barbecue stub here. So if you guys wanted to add like a uh, fire pit right here on the balcony, so insane. And that's it guys, that's our house tour. Again, it's $2.5 million located in Henderson, semi-custom home, brand new. They're just putting the finishing touches on it as we speak, ready for its new owner. 4,600 square feet, four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, two half baths. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Any questions, comments, hit me down below. Thank you, guys.